So I am 14 weeks and four days today. Um, so this is my 14 slash 13 week update. I didn't do an update last week because I had a cold, which I still have sort of lingering sniffles of it and a cough, which is nasty. But yeah, I was just, I felt awful and I sounded awful last week. So I thought there was just no point. Um, so I'm just gonna combine sort of 13 and 14 weeks together because last week I had my scan, which is another reason why I'm 14 weeks and four days today. Um, because I've been dated forward this time. Um, yeah, the scan, the baby was measuring 13 weeks and two days, I think, and I was supposed to be 13 weeks the next day by their last scan. Um, and that's what they're sticking to now. Um, he said baby probably should stay around that. Um, and obviously they grow at different rates from pretty much now on. So that's, that's my due date. My due date is December the 4th. Um, and I'm sticking with that for now. Um, I don't think it will change. Yeah, so I'm in the second trimester, yay! Um, and I definitely feel a little bit better for it. I'll get to the like, symptoms and everything later. Um, but yeah, my next scan isn't until the 21st of July, which feels ages away. Um, so that's my 20 week scan. Um, and my next appointment, which is my first appointment as well with my midwife, is when I'm 16 weeks. I haven't booked it yet, but I've had a bit of a complication with the doctors anyway. Um, cause I think they sent me a date and I think they booked me in for my midwife appointment anyway, by my first dating, um, for this pregnancy. But I'm not 100% sure cause I just got a message through not telling me what actual appointment it was, just telling me that I had an appointment. Um, so I've got to ring them up and sort all of that. But yeah, the NT scan went really well. So the measurement of the like nuchal Thing on the back of the, the fluid on the back of the neck was perfect. She said even when we were in there, the lady said it was perfect. Um, it was a bit difficult to get everything because baby was sitting upright <laughs> and was in a really awkward position. Um, so they really had to root around to get the photos that they needed. So the pictures that I got some scan pictures, and they're not fantastic. To be honest, I don't think they even chose the greatest ones. Like they took better ones that I saw, um, but they didn't give me those ones. So I was like. Ugh. But oh well. Um, and they took a lot of headshots trying to get the nuchal. I'll try and show you them anyway. Um, it was still lovely, obviously, to see baby, and we saw him wiggle and saw sort of move, and that was just lovely. And I also got my letter back from them for the nuchal stuff. One in t ten thousand, over ten thousand. Um, for Down syndrome, I think it is, yeah. And Edwards syndrome and Pater syndrome is the other thing they were testing for, and that's one in 20, 130,000. So that's pretty good score. They said that both of them are low risk, everything looks pretty good. Um, obviously that doesn't mean it's 100% you don't, you can't have it. It's still a potential thing anyway, um, but it, I'm low risk. <laughs> yeah, I haven't announced on like Facebook, and so I'm not putting these videos up just yet. I'm a bit annoyed because I wanted to get this up ages ago and now that I'm in the second trimester it almost feels like suddenly it's going a little bit more quickly and I want to get on and tell everyone and start putting these videos up on my channel but um, it's taken me a little bit longer to do the announcement that I want to do um, and to be honest I'm a little bit actually apprehensive all of a sudden like I, for a long time I was just like yeah I want to you know I'm really excited I want to get it up but all of a sudden I'm suddenly like oh my gosh I'm going to be sharing this with the world again and it's I don't know it's been my secret our little thing for so long I mean most people know really like my friends and family um no it's just it's different when it's everybody you know like Facebook friends and and on YouTube and stuff but yeah it's just gonna be interesting to say the least so I'll get on to symptoms my nausea is so much better definitely so much better it hasn't completely gone but I'm not entirely sure if that's just because of my diet. Last week, I really was craving, like, really badly at McDonald's. I know, terrible, I shouldn't have been. Otherwise, I've been eating really healthy. And then we went and had it, and afterwards, like, the next day, I felt awful. I felt so ill, I had really bad indigestion, and I was like, you know what, I think that's it, because 
this fatty food um, and I hadn't had anything else and I hadn't felt sick like that in ages and then I felt sick all day and just it was horrible. Uh, luckily otherwise I haven't been too bad it's just on and off and I think it is when I have something that's not as good I think my body's starting to be like no you need this or or it's probably like partially inbuilt in my brain that I need to get on and have healthier food and I have actually been craving healthier food since sort of then um, which again might have been a little bit of an indicator that my body's telling me you need this not that I'm still needing to pee like no tomorrow like literally I pee so much but then I've been really thirsty and it's been really hot here in the UK for us <laughs> um so yeah I have been really thirsty and I'm thinking that's to do with it and it, it doesn't hurt when I pee so I haven't I'm pretty sure I haven't got a UTI or anything like that but it's still a, ugh, not that great and I'm still really tired. I've been sleeping and napping a lot during the day. Um, Liam had his another operation on Monday. Luckily, it's hopefully the last one and he should be properly on the mend by now. Um, and we'll get back to normal, hopefully. But yeah, since he's been home, we've been sort of been able, like he's been able to look after Isla a bit. I'm still doing most of it because he's on crutches and stuff. Um, but. It means I've been able to have a little bit of a, more of a nap and like seriously <laughs> I've been sleeping so much. Um had a fair few headaches recently, mainly in the evenings, like, but again I'm not 100 percent sure if that's pregnancy or cold that I've had or a mix of both. Like the cold definitely I feel like masked a lot of like symptoms and stuff and it's hard to tell what's the cold and what's pregnancy stuff. Indigestion's a little bit better. Um but it's still it's still not like as good as it was before her being pregnant but it's still better it's getting it feels like it's getting a bit better flow i've been getting round ligament pain mainly in the evening i know i said about it before like last update um i've been still getting pains and stuff on and off but yeah definitely more in the evenings um i suddenly feel really heavy but then my belly as a general is bigger in the evening my boobs have been hurting again i think they've grown again i definitely think i need to get some more brass <laughs> Um, heartburn a little bit only if I'm eating a lot and it mainly in the evenings again when I've had loads of food during the day and more if I eat not long before bed and then lay down definitely worse then my weight I think I've gained a pound now so I was seven pound four when I weighed myself for the video um, but I still fluctuate a little bit between like seven three seven four but I've been seven four more regularly so I think I'm I'm going up that way anyway. You know, I do think it's starting to get up, which makes sense because my belly is definitely coming out more. Um, again, I don't feel like it looks as big. Whenever I do the videos, it doesn't look as big as I feel like it does in person or when like it's definitely much bigger in the evenings, obviously partly to do with the fact that I've eaten a lot more during the day. Um, but I still think I'm getting a little bit of bloat as well with the indigestion side of things. But still definitely getting a bit more of a bump and it's definitely more noticeable my family have started noticing it more as well and we told Ida's nursery um like the you know main like managers sort of there that were pregnant because Ida's definitely been talking about it a lot more which is really sweet um so we thought it was about time they knew since she probably would start talking about it with them at some point <laughs> cravings still bread sandwiches and stuff like that but I've been fancying more salad like I've been loving my salads and fresh fresh food, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables and salad and yeah I've definitely been fancying my fruit and stuff more but I think it's because my belly, my body's telling me I need it. Uh, aversions, not so much really, like still there's nothing in particular food wise that I'm like no I can't have, um, I think there's general stuff that I don't like still um, but the only thing, I've been having a lot less hot drinks as a general um, and I tend to not have anything with caffeine anyway I've been having decaf a lot more now since starting this pregnancy um but when I do have decaf I feel like it makes me feel a little bit sicky I mean when I have caffeinated drink it makes me feel a bit sick um again I think I feel like it's my body telling me not to have it <laughs> but who knows but yeah otherwise versions and stuff um I haven't just bad smells are still ickier than they normally are um and at the moment I'm definitely put off McDonald's since feeling sick, like I just don't fancy it. I fancy other stuff, <laughs> but I don't fancy like that things. I'm fancying, like I said, more salads and stuff. Um, but still my sandwiches <laughs> and bread. I like tiger bread. Oh, so. Yeah, I think that's about it really.
um, there isn't really a huge amount that's going to change in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I'll find out more about my appointment with my midwife soon enough. Um, but yeah, baby seems to be growing fairly well and looks lovely on the scan. Um, and I've still been using my Doppler and listening to it pretty much every day still on off, only for a little while. Um, I pretty much hear it straight away, listen to it for a bit and then stop. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for my 40 week update.